Hey friends, Evan in the Photobacks office. I've been talking about this memory book template set that we have for free through this weekend when you get the Premium Package 2. So if you get this Premium Package 2, it's a huge discount sale right now. You get the memory book template set for free. I want to show you that some of the templates have text in them, fonts, right? Type. And so I want to tell you that all of those fonts are included. We use commercial free fonts or they may just be on your computer, but a lot of those fancy ones uh, we do have for you for free. When you get the templates and the product in your downloads in your account, you just download the font collection, double click the font and install it. It'll just have a button say install. I want to show you a couple little things here with fonts. Uh, quickly, let's add a photo to this template. Show how easy this is when you have photo backs. You guys know this, but I'm going to click on the photo mask layer over here. Let's make these thumbnails a little larger so you can see. And I'm going to click add photo to template. And then I'll just find a photo I want to use. Just double click and the photo goes right in. Of course, it stays in the template, which is always the best part. And you can just resize it. Comes in as a smart object. You've heard me say that a million times before, but it's important because you can resize this image now without losing quality. And that's how this is designed. So it really is meant to help you uh, succeed in your quick and easy workflow. I mean, look how fast we're doing this. Now, don't forget, you can always change the color of anything. Don't worry about colors, but I can click this background color here and click on color or click on the background, click on color, click a color in the image and then match this perfectly to whatever I want. So there's a lot of a lot of colors here. As I scroll through, you'll see I can pick any color that matches the tones and the color, everything perfectly in that image. OK, set. Now let's talk about the type. We have two type layers over here to edit any type. You just double click a, a T icon over here in the layer stack. So I'm just going to double click T and instead of saying moments, never forget, we'll say moments to always remember okay well that was a little big there right so now i can just highlight all the text and i can come up to the top where i had this t and just make it a little bit smaller I'm, I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse to lower the pixel count or the pixel size of that font so 323 up there is fine okay so that looks a little bit better you could also take both of these layers together hold down shift and click so you've selected both controller command t works on type layers as well so if you have it kind of perfect, you can still use free transform control or command T to resize your type. One thing I want to note about all of our templates, uh, at least in the last however many, many, many years, if you press control or command semicolon, you will bring up the guides. This can help you if you are going to print this, put it onto, let's say, a photo book. This would be left and right pages. The guides are neither here nor there. You can create your own guides, change them. But if you if you like to see where the edges are, if you do plan to print, I think it's important to look at the guides. If you're going to share this online, put this on a website, email, etc., it doesn't quite matter. But let's look at one other thing about the, the type here. You can select the type and you can change it by clicking on your T icon over here and your horizontal type tool is what it's set to. But just click the T. Up at the top, you can change the font and you can change this font. It's sort of hard to see. Let me move this over to the side. You can change this font here by going up to the top and choosing a different font. So all of this is available to you, whatever fonts you have. So if you want to change it to this one, great. Now, you might be looking at my fonts here and thinking, wow, I can really see all these. They look great. When I go to Photoshop and I try to change my type, I get these little samples. It's hard to see what the fonts look like. Let me show you how to fix that. Up here in the top in Photoshop CC, you're going to go to Type and then Font Preview Size. And I think most people have it on, let's just even try, I think it's small. So when you go to your type, it looks like this, which is ridiculous. This is, I think this is the, the default. So just make sure you go to Type, Font Preview Size, and go to Huge. And Huge isn't even that huge, but at least you can see a lot better. And pick the one you want, and then you're good to go. The other option, if you don't have the newest version of Photoshop, is to go to Edit, Preferences, Type, and that option might be in there on older versions of Photoshop. So that's an, a quick trick here with Type. One last thing I want to show you is that if you highlight both of these layers together, you can actually change multiple layers of Type if you are on your Type tool, and then you make some edits. So I can go to the Color up here and change this and both layers will change. You don't, you don't have to stick with just one layer. A lot of times we double click this T icon, get in there and then change the color. And then you would have to do that on both. But if you highlight layers together like this, hold down shift or control or command and select multiple layers, you can do a lot of things. You could go to your window and then character panel. And here you can change everything. So I could change the spacing of the letters, for example. And this would happen automatically to all layers that I'm on. So if you have a long document with a lot of type layers, 
Just select them all and then make changes. Just make sure you are on that type tool over here and then you can make those changes all together. Uh, so anyway, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, do let me know.